Hello, Goofy Gooners. Welcome to the channel. My name is Chin, and this time I will be actually showing you how to install Side mods, unlike last time. So this video will be broken down into two parts. Number one, simple. This is just for people who just want Mita skins. Maybe you want a little Miku skin. This will not include stuff like CJ or custom hair from like the Doki Doki Literature Club, but it is drag and drop. Very simple. Part two will be advanced. This is for the people who want things like CJ or like Doki Doki Literature Club hair. That will be for you. So let's just jump right into this, shall we? To start off, go to Steam. Go to Me Side, right click, manage, browse local files. Now, if you want to install your local skins, all you got to do is go to Data, Custom, and then this is where you're going to drag them. So, I have downloaded this. Venom fan Mita skin. And it's already downloaded here. So it comes in a zip format. So I'm going to extract that really quick. Now, make sure when you're dragging this file into your custom folder that it opens straight to images. Just like that. If you don't, say if you dragged in this one right here, it would make your screen inside of MeSide go blank. See how they're all ordered just like that. So make sure that's how you drag them in. And guess what? Part one is done already. Let's move on to part two. So this is slightly more advanced. <laughs> also, I want to uh, apologize to the people who tried what I did last video. I didn't realize that some of the files that were needed weren't included with what that dude made. So guess what? I made one myself. That's right there, baby. And I'm going to show you how to get it installed. So, first what we're going to have you do is, we're going to have you go to me side, but go to common, right? Make sure you're in common. Then, copy that directory. Go over to the zipped file. Go to WinRAR, hit extract files. Now, paste that in. Once again, make sure it is common, is the last character. Go ahead and click OK. Now, Look at that, baby. All of the beautiful files you're going to need. All right, so why don't we install our first custom skin? I think we should do Ellen from Zenless Zone Zero. I already downloaded her, but she will be in the description below. Go ahead, open this up. So this one is structured in with a Bepinex and data. The data is for her skins, which is what I showed you before. So we can go back there, actually. Data, custom, and then go in. Drag her in. Make sure when you open her up, straight to the pictures. Yep, excellent. So, now for the other part, Bepinex. This is going to install all the custom hair and whatnot. So, go into your MeSide folder, Bepinex, Plugins, Universal Asset Loader, Assets. Then, you're just going to want to drag in that. Make sure, kind of like the other one, it goes straight to the FBX with the PNG files. And this is where it's going to get kind of a little tricky. Go to add-ons config.txt. You're going to see all of this stuff, and all you're going to want to do is scroll down. Open up the one in Ellen. You're going to see two, basically. This one will contain all of the text for Misai to find your modded attributes, basically. Go ahead, copy all of this. Copy. Go back over, paste them in, baby. That's it. That's all there is to it. Go ahead, hit save, close out, and why don't we start up me side? So you might have noticed that your game took a little longer to start up than normal, and you might have noticed that a command prompt also came up. But this is normal, and is everything is okay. Go to clothes. Let's go ahead and select the Ellen Joe one. Go over to add-ons, which should be there now. And there you go. CJ's even easier. If I remember correctly, he doesn't have the skins. All you gotta do is just drag him in. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I want to apologize for the last video. Um, I really was just, I just didn't notice for some reason. And uh, I was at work and I did not have time to fix it until right now. So, I hope you all enjoy and have a mildly mediocre day.